Hello there, everyone, and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I thought I would do a weekly recap of the options calls I made this week. Again, it's earnings season, so there's a lot of things to look at. I called EXP as an option on the 12th. EXP, I just called a put, strike 100, okay, which it obviously went through. This was a nice trade, went down, and if you get out of it profitable, quickly that's fine if you wanted to hold it longer I called it out till the end of March push back up in here you could take more of it or you could have got out and retake it this is going to set up again this looks really good this was a positive call it was a profitable trade and if you're still in it holding it out for a bigger move that's fine I think when you take these though the first exit should always be the strike which obviously this went through low in here on this day was 99.08 so it went about a buck through the strike so that's always what I put for the first strike. So that was on the 12th. Then I called CMG on the 13th. And I called this out really, really far in advance uh, for months out because I think the chart's lower. I called it out on the 13th. And then it I called it out for April and June, the puts out for this and for the 220 puts and then this had a huge move up then literally on the 14th but the chart's still lower so whether people did the trade and killed it or are holding it through this trade is negative but it still is way way months months out so this wasn't a fast mover down it flipped because of some news but i love this chart lower and that rally that it had last week might be the last rally it has for, for weeks or months. So again, this trade has a long time, long time to get to the number. When something is negative and you're down 50% in an option trade, you can kill it and retake it. But I still think this is gonna end up working. Uh, so everybody has a different money management plan, but I usually say 50% is a good placement to kill it. But as of right now, that trade is still out to April and June, depending on which strike people took. I called both of them. Um, however, it's negative at this moment if people are still in it. Then I called, and that was a put. Then I called Amazon, really nice call on the 14th. Ran up right in here, beautiful move, nice trade, went immediately positive, okay? Called the 1500 calls, which again, you could still be in it. This was immediately positive and a nice move right up here in this day, out for the 23rd. So this doesn't have a lot of time left if you're still in it, but this looks really nice and good, especially if the market's paused this week, or you just took it out here or here, even when it gapped up in the 15th. So that was a profitable trade. And then I also called a second one on the 14th in Netflix to buy the 280 Netflix calls expiring 223. Quick one in the Netflix. Again, could have done it and got right out, had the move, had a big move, literally into the momentum the day I called it. Let's see a while here. So called it here, boom, had a nice big move into here through the strike and lots of momentum ran right out. Again, you could still be in it. Looks like it's gonna make a new high. This could be a really big trade, but this was a profitable trade right in here. Immediately called it, got up. A lot of times when I call these options trades, they go right up or right down if I'm calling a put. I'm very good at seeing where they're gonna go directly. I couldn't have predicted that there would be some news in CMG or that would have broke too. Um, and you will have that sometimes happen. But let's look at the last one here that I called for the 16th. There was nothing on the 15th. Called Cisco to buy the 4550 Cisco calls. Um, this ran up on Friday. Didn't quite get up to 4550 close, but looks good to follow through this coming week. This is out for a couple of weeks, three, two. So you could have done it and got right out, or you did it and wait for the bigger move, which is through the strike and through the number and over the high. So this is a nice, nice one here in Cisco. So overall, there were one, two, three, four, five. Busy week. Five, five trades called this week. Uh, one is down, or people killed it. 
uh, which was the CMG, and four are up when you got out or you're holding like the Cisco through or the Netflix through or the Amazon through next week, or even the EXP could still be in, which is was the put, uh, but they all were profitable calls and really looking forward to seeing what this week brings with the market. So that's uh, four out of five winners just this week in the letter. We've been making some really nice option calls for people, seeing a lot of success for it. Makes it very easy for them to just take the trade when they get the email. And you got to watch it yourself and you get out when you're up. Very easy to monitor it. So good luck, everyone. Have a great weekend. And a happy President's Day. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you would like to sign up for the Gap Options letter. There are no prerequisites. It's $2,999 a year. And if you're interested, email me to sign up. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.